But we begin with the dangerous wildfires burning out west right now. The western region of the U.S. facing an uphill battle as more than 80 major fires burn. From Washington state to Southern California, hundreds of thousands, they're on edge right now to see if the winds will drive the fires to their front door. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman is live in the newsroom with a closer look at the wildfire battle out there. Lauren? In Southern California, it is a sickening weight. The fires there on the top of the mountain. The homes are below. Multiple blazes burning across Oregon. The governor there calling it a once in a generation event. Oregon under siege. Overnight flames devouring everything in their path. Forcing most in the city of Medford, population about 82,000, to flee to safety. It wasn't no time before it went from just a little campfire smoke to just what you see now. In Washington state, most of the town of Malden just ash. The post office and fire station destroyed. Across the region, an estimated 85 major fires are burning. California battling more than two dozen large fires. The latest, the Bear Fire, part of the North Complex fire, exploding overnight and forcing tens of thousands to evacuate in the town of Oroville. The largest inferno, the Creek Fire near Fresno, still at 0% containment. The Bobcat Fire has doubled in size near Los Angeles. And outside San Diego, the Valley Fire is moving dangerously close to the city. Even where there are no flames, there is still smoke, painting morning skies from parts of Oregon to San Francisco an ominous orange. The Bay Area bathed in a smoky haze. Tens of thousands of firefighters across the western U.S. battle against the flames. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> At this hour, 30 million people in five western states are under red flag warnings, and typically the worst four months of fire season are still ahead. Keith? Our thoughts with the folks out west for sure. Thank you, Lauren.